Hello, a collective. Guess what we're doing? Checkers. No, not really. We're playing cards today. Yeah, I would have done it earlier, but I had a couple of people to um, do readings for, so I didn't get a chance to. And I am exhausted. Like, you know, I didn't think the second day of a double would be bad, but then I started noticing, like, my ankles hurt, which I've never had that before. So I guess I'm getting old. So yay. But then again, I knew I was getting old because I found that, like, gray hair in my hair, like, a couple months back, I think. I don't know. Either or, it's like, I'm old now. Someone's going to be older than me just be like, you shut your mouth, you're just a child. You know, like they do, because, I don't know. I honestly don't know why people get offended by that, because it's just like, you know, I haven't been this old yet before. Like, leave me alone. Let me just encompass this. I'm the same age as, like, Jesus, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just rambling on. All right. So, let's see what we're looking at today, collective. Gather round, kids. Someone who's dealing with options, or looking at their options, trying to go over which one will be the most fruitful for them. Seeing what emotional investments they can make and which one is more important. Probably choosing between those cups in an order. I feel like. Oh my god, my new cards are coming on um, Tuesday. I can't wait to like use them with you guys. I'm so excited. Like I really want to like show you guys what I got too. Like I like other people um, have the same deck. But it's just like I'm so excited because I think I'm going to be reading them differently than everybody else. But I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. Okay. All right. Collective. Let's see what's going up with this person who has options. Right? Right. They got Eight of Swords Reverse and the Chariot Reverse. They want to get out of this mental headspace, but they feel like they can't move forward. Could be a Cancer involved in this. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. King Cups, too. Definitely could be cancer in this. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is moving in their head, and they're trying to, I feel like, feel that out. Like, try to figure it out. You know, like, how you know, it's connected to his cup by a silver plexus, or his middle, or torso, or umbilical cord, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, he's trying to use that to focus on how he can possibly make the wheel turn. Hello? Thank you, camera, for unfocusing me jerk uh king of swords reverse someone's got a nasty attitude they're throwing some truth down but they're not doing it to truth bomb people they're just doing it to be like you know that one time when you ate my cake right well when you did that i really just wanted to tell you how fat you're fucking getting that's all like you're just getting like slightly some way to make your cheek like kind of like that kind of shit you know just coming out of nowhere with the aggression kind of like that kind of thing you know uh, Six of Swords Reverse. Someone's still looking for a proposal. A reason to stick around, despite the fact that they want to leave this situation that's keeping their mind trapped and not being able to move forward. Like, it, it's like they realize they can't unless they think about what to do over here. It's like they already have the answer, but it's just not... It is not, um... I almost punched my card. It's like an asshole. I'll never get over that shit. It's kind of like, um, yeah. It's kind of like punching your card. Some people can take it, and some people just literally feel a little bit freaked out every time they see it. And I feel like this person's in the freak out mode. Like, oh my god, I can't believe that. You know, it's, it's like, you see it. They see it. But. It's still the beyond, beyond their perceptions of um, understanding. It's like they... Like, they understand it, but they don't get it. That's really what I'm feeling like. And that's why why they got a shit attitude, too. Because it's like, they want a reason to stay. But it's like, the way they're doing it is, like, really fucked up. And the past. There's somebody they're reaching out to. That they're not trying to move forward from. It's like, there's someone to try to attach to that in a childlike way. Alright. What's the vibration? Okay. 
Oh no, this is a message. Ooh, spectacular. Messages are cool. Let's see. Ew, well this is gross. A little bit. Okay, so like this king of wands right here in this hand. Probably the stabber. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or just someone who with a fiery personality, fire in their chart, whatever it is. Probably stabbed the fuck out of this ghost over here. Like literally betrayed somebody. And now there's like a tug to like go to where you're actually happy with this unity, this family, this happily ever after. So there's that with this person. Okay. Very, very nettled with the Empress Reverse. Very bitter about how things went about. What's the vibration, Gretchen? Please. Little Miss Cora, if you don't mind. Betrayal! Betrayal. 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 Feeling stabbed. Someone's like definitely just like watching it happen too. Like there's an audience or something. Or someone just feeling that way, and it's causing them to feel like they can't recover from this shit either. It's like, but at the same time, it's like the person who's getting betrayed. I don't know, it's like. It's like a betrayal of self, you know? Because, like, for me, for this reading right here, I feel like this dude was trying to save this person, and the person took it the wrong way. It's a really weird idea. Because I, I would have never... I don't know. I don't know why I'm reading it like that today. But that's just how it's going. But, yeah, it's like this person doesn't get it. They don't get it. Like, they don't get it. You know? And they might not be the nicest person about it either. Just saying. Okay. Hmm. This person's really just... Mm -mm. Anyway. Eight of Swords Reverse. They want to get out of a terrible head space. Or they could be purposely keeping themselves trapped there because they really don't know how to concentrate. Especially with the Chariot Reverse. It's like they're sticking around a battle that isn't even worth fighting for. Or isn't even being fought. Like, you're still in, like, like Power Rangers mode, you know? I don't even think they realize it, honestly. They're trying to start something in here, but I don't know if it's a what or something they're rejecting. Mmm. Oh, that's right. Okay. Mm, mm, okay, so, like, this person is, like, um, they caused someone to walk away. Because they were in, definitely in the wrong headspace, like, they, and then they went to start something, and they got exactly what they wished for, and then it was, like, bad, bad, bad. Like, this was someone who was playing mind games, but the person they played mind games with was either driven away by their bullshit or they just caught the bullshit and took off. And I think this person took it as a betrayal. Like, how dare you reject me in my fucked up ways kind of thing, right? Let's so get demonetized because I said the word fuck. Wouldn't surprise me none. But yeah, it's kind of like... I don't know. That's, that's This is literally what it feels like. It feels like someone like got mad that like someone left them behind after they did some shit so they went to start something else and then it turned out that was probably a bad idea and they're trying to get out of that oh ew yeah they're 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 trying to move forward from a relationship that broke off but like it's it's they're not being able to do it they're like more too angry or too nettled, or just too willing to, like, I, I don't know. It's almost like they're holding a grudge. That's what that is, Ten of Swords. It's a grudge. That's what that is. It's a fucking grudge. That makes sense. This is someone who has a grudge that someone stopped dealing with their crap. This is, okay, that, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. 
this is someone who's mad that like they couldn't manipulate somebody like they did it, it's like okay now this makes sense to me i thought this was something completely different but no this is this makes a lot of sense this is somebody who uh This is like somebody who is, um, how do I say this? Like, they're mad that, they're, that the relationship broke up and, like, you know, it led to a very unhappy ending. But their actions speak of somebody who's, like, holding some sort of grudge. Because they couldn't control somebody. And it's like the end. Like, it ended. Like, someone broke up with them. The happy ending was gone. No longer, like, is there. And, and they sat around and were... I feel like this person sat around and waited. Expecting somebody to come back. But they didn't realize it was the end. You know? This is, like, someone who's really shocked that, like, they couldn't manipulate somebody. I am, like... I don't know. My intuition has been, like, on point with a lot of shit as a late realizing a lot of lessons I've done learned in the past few days. It's been a really, like, Gemini season, like, something with Gemini, I don't know what it is, but, like, either I get kerflunkled with my words, or my intuition's just on point, because Gemini's, like, intuition mode. Especially since they're communicative, communic communicative, or they just like to communicate, or whatever I'm trying to say that sounds smart right now. Who knows? But yeah, this is a person who's mad that they could... It's like someone can see right through them. And that's why they, like, left. It's like... Like, this dude sitting on the beach is, like, watching these people walk away because they just dropped their swords. They didn't even bother, um... My pants were slipping. I hate these swords when I sit down. But yeah, it's like, um... I, like, it looks like they're fucking shocked the person walked away. Huh. It, it like that ooh. like I got that it, like that's pretty quick for me usually I have to get halfway through before I figure it out like I said my intuition has been on point as a late I think we're all getting ready to get in that new cycle here shortly it's gonna happen soon I cannot wait like the great thing about a new cycle is is like that's four. I'll give you four. Has something to do with the home, how to make everything turn again. I don't know. I like new cycles. Like, you lose almost everything, but once you start getting into that process to get to a higher place, you get so much more. Oh, so much more. It's, like, great. I love it. I really do. I'm, I'm actually starting to get very used to this. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. There's a heartbreak they're trying to get over. When it comes to a Capricorn Taurus Virgo that they have no idea what to do with. I feel like this, yeah, they want to heal their heart, but I feel like they're doing it with like material wealth, right? Like they're already established as somebody who has money. Um, the problem is, is that daddy isn't paying anymore, you know, like it's like, they're just confused about how to deal with this whole scenario, really. Like, they want to be, a, be able to lounge around, which I don't know how you do that if you're trying to make money. Like, you can't be lazy and make money. Like, that's not how it works. But d whatever people can do. Um... But, it, it, but they're kind of like, you know, like, how, like, okay, I'm going to be a successful person all on my own. How do I get my money? I have no idea where to start. That's kind of like what they're kind of doing. It's like they're trying to look for some way of doing it. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be one of y'all, someone trying to be intuitive with their emotions, validate what emotions they have. Um,. Almost like, definitely could be a Scorpio. Like they're using that to determine stuff. I'll give you another four. Fuck it. Ooh. Labor, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Ten Pentacles, Reverse. Or no, Pentacles. Um. 
wands. Why did I say pentacles? There's not even anywhere here. And then eight of cups reverse. And we got the page of swords and death card. Um, this page is technically watching this dude walk away right here, right? It's kind of like they were looking for information to confirm either something died or like something had changed and instead death came along with like some burdens and someone just walking away from all this bullshit like this person has death on their side the other person like they left this burden they couldn't get over away and they walked away with the eight of cups there was no more love here like the burden killed it off and now this person's like sitting here like trying to fight off death like they're snooping on probably social media they're probably trying to look things up that's none of their business. They're probably saying whatever they can to anybody to get information. And it's just like, um, excuse me. You're either looking for a Scorpio or this shit's going to fucking stop. Or they're going to change their ways. Or something's going to come involving and end this shit. Swiftly, quickly, whatever way it has to be. Because, like, it's like whatever, I mean, if this is them. If they eventually took this route, it was just like, you know, shame. Like they figured out what the fuck was actually up. Then we got the King of Swords up here. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? Oh, that's my neighbor. That's not my car. Wish it wasn't a car. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a book. All right, this King of Swords. Bitter as fuck, right? It has emperor energy. It could be Aries or anybody, honestly. But this is someone who likes control. To a point where, like, they'll just stare at the options that they should be looking at and just be like, oh, I really don't want to fucking pick this shit. You know? That, like, that's kind of their energy with that. It's like, it's like the dude with the pentacles is looking over at this cat like, hey, do you want to pick this one or this one? And he's just like, are you telling me what to do? <laughs> and like the dude's so scared to actually bring it up to this guy. Like he looks so mad that he's even over here holding the pentacles while he's sitting on his throne. Like take that shit out of my face before I beat you with it in your face. You know, like that's kind of his whole thing. I will, I will sentence you for stealing my apple. But you still have your apple. I don't, I'll throw it at your head and then all of a sudden you'll have it. I guarantee you that. You Like, you'll go to Jella anyway. I'm the emperor. Like, <laughs> but it's like, there's a leap of faith they could take in order to work things out. When it comes to a past person that they walked away from and now they're sad about. And after all this time, like, they really need to look and actually make a choice. You know, they actually have to sit on their throne like a responsible king of um wands right here and actually determine the right kind of decision to make that's what's got them pissed off it, it, like they know they they kind of know okay so that's yeah they know that they got left with some baggage physically an actual person mentally emotionally doesn't matter it, it's left them fucking brittle and it was brutal Like, whatever this person did is just kind of like, you know, I could be mad for people wanting you to take... Res ah, look at that. Oh, my God. Okay. This King of Swords right here. Could be air. Could I, somebody could have air in their chart, or they could just be carrying this persona of someone who's just really cutthroat. Like, they're only cutthroat because they gave up on fighting for their own happiness. That is their problem. That is entirely their problem. They let their happiness die. Right here, small child, bash its head in with a rock. Well, that's kind of dark, but, like, that's kind of the equivalent. It's like they took their own kid and, like, harmed it because they just decided, you know, I, I don't want to do anything. I'm not going to fight for this. I'd rather just not. But it, the lack of fighting is causing them to realize, you know, like, um, like with the Five of Swords over here. You're, they're just watching the person walk away instead of actually trying to run up and, you know, bash their head in with the rock, too. So this person, like... Okay. 
this person is mad because they don't want to fight and things still didn't go their way. Which is just like, you know. They like control. Yeah. They like control. They like having everything under a specific way. Like, they like routine, I feel like, too. But the problem is, is with these people, with this, well, with these people. Like, it could be multiple people, honestly. This is, like, everybody's reading or whatever. I don't know why. I, but. Well, at least you're not peeking up here. I'll get that later. Um. Yes, kitten, he's vomiting cat food. Anyway, something new to clean up. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's kind of how it feels for them. It's like cleaning up cat vomit. Because your fat cat decides that he wants to eat all the food in the bowl so the little one can't get it. Because he's that petty. And that's not a joke. My cat literally does that. Just the spider. He'll just walk up and shove her head out the way and just eat all the food so she can't get it. And then I gotta clean up the mess. He's an old bastard. But that's kind of how this person feels. It's just like, I'm not cleaning up this cat shit. I don't care if it's my cat. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Somebody else can do it. Like, I ain't even gonna bother. I'm just walking away from this. Not even worried about it. Four more. Give you that. Okay. All right. Six of swords reverse. If someone's looking for a love proposal to, um... Go back over here. Okay, you know what? I think this person wants to be the trophy wife of the King of Pentacles. That's what I think. They just don't know how to establish that. It's like they want to be taken care of. And they know he'll do it. But it's like they don't know how to do it. And it's just kind of like... You know, it like there's really not any love here either. Not with any of the cups. Like, okay, Queen of Cups and Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Look at them. Look at these bitches. One's really immature and one looks like Glenn Close from, um, what's that movie called? Not Single White Female. Um. Fatal Attraction? Fatal Attraction. That's what it's called. That's what she looks like right now. Both of them are just ignoring each other, but this one more so than this one. Like, you know, this one's probably just daydreaming. This bitch is, like, actually looking at her cup like, someone ate my fucking cheesecake again! You know, like that, right? <laughs> it's like, uh, she's not acknowledging her, and she's too busy focused on what's in her cup to actually realize what is around her, which is water, which she can still drown in easily. But unfortunately, in, in either case, it's like someone is so guarded or so paranoid that this can't be manifested. And I feel like it's this person. I think they want to manifest with this possibly Queen of Wands because we already got the King of Cups out here. Or maybe that's how they're seeing the person that they want to like reconcile with. Um, they look like they're not paying attention, but this person feels, I think, that they are still looking at their emotions. Like this motherfucker ate my cheesecake. And then expects me to forgive him after he eats the other one? No. I've told this dude how many times not to eat my, you know, like, it's one of those things where someone's just kind of obsessing over, um, their emotions while trying to look, like, nonchalant on the outside. Uh, but in reality, because they're doing that, they're keeping their heart up too much and, you know, they can't create anything. In fact, everything they do is a, um, backfire. Like, it, whatever it is they've been trying to accomplish or do, it's like, no. It's like, universe is like, uh, if you're not going to do this right, don't do it at all. Or you will be swiftly dealt with. Like, it, it completely. Six of Cups right here. Final card for now. Um, okay. Judgment. Another four. Yeah. Okay, this person that they're dealing with from the past who they're kind of reaching out to, which I think is this King of Pentacles. Um, they know that it's a good idea to possibly offer up something 
That's the right judgment call. Try to resurrect it. The thing is, is like this is the Page of Pentacles. It's not much of an offer, so this is probably all they really have. Because, like, as I said before, they want someone to take care of them. That's what they want to move forward. They want someone to take care of them, um, help them get over their like. It's like they want to hurry up and like fix shit. Really. But at the same time, it's kind of like you know you're kind of a dick for like. Messing with people's heads, you know, like, you can't just expect to get things going once again if you don't even know how to do it. Like, I really think they want to be with this king of pentacles. And I think that's the person who decided that, um, they were walking away and they had to find out, like, probably from third party social media, stuff like that. But yeah, this person, they know that, like, making an offer is a very good idea. Because, uh, karma's being swift right now. Real quick. It'd be Libra. Because since this is their card, this is bad karma. It's like, karma's actually really quick. Oh, okay, this is someone's karma. Alright, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Uh, no soup for you. <laughs> this is someone's karma. I think they're shocked they're going through their karma. I think that's what the Page of Swords with the Death card is. I think they realize this is their karma. Uh, it, it, like, people can't take a lot of their shit. Like, I, I, okay, I don't think it's that people can't take their shit, but it's more along the lines of how long can someone put up with someone's shit before it's just like, you know, like, I'm, I'm too good to keep having somebody, um treat me poorly and that's why this person walked away I feel like and I think that this person was really shocked because this person I think was their sh daddy their sugar well not really sugar daddy as much as um their provider and I think that's who they were trying to get back with it doesn't have to be an earth sign they're trying to get back with it could just be somebody who's in the position to be stable um to build I already have possibly something established good wealth all that stuff right out of options when it comes to dealing with the past situation and actually walking away from it. Like, this person, like, they're trying to walk away, but they're so stuck on the past. They got a, a bright, fiery future awaiting them. And yet, what they love is back here. In glass shops. In frozen cups. They don't know what to do with their options. When it comes to this Queen of Wands who is now in bitch mode, I think she's done dealing with the weight. Or they're, no, they're the Queen of Wands right now because she was already upright. But it's like, it's like with her not being able to find options, she just loses her patience and just gets pissed and then starts launching out flying monkeys and whoever else will dress in her weird dresses, you know, support her ass. It's like, I want what I want, and I want it now. Like, this person's just, mm. This person's impatient in order to get their redemption, I feel like. This is, but this is what this season's gonna be all about. People coming back for redemption, I feel like. This is just one of them. They're holding up the fact that the relationship is dead. Like, together they felt golden, but now that they're alone, it's like they feel silver. Like, not as self-worthy as they once believed, I feel like. It's just sad. But, I don't know, man. It's like... I don't know if, um... Mmm... This is a toughie. This is very much a toughie tough. Anyway. So yeah, this is what this person's up to. Okay. Thanks for watching my video. You want a personal reading? My email is down below. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to like, share, or subscribe, go right the fuck ahead. Um, and I don't charge for my readings. I just take donations and tips. Because that's it. Everyone deserves a reading. There we go. Um... But I'll see you guys later. Hit me up if you want something fun to do. Love you. Bye-bye.